Everyone really wants to know about 232. What are you expecting for the Trump administration to finally give us in terms of details from this? Well, that's an interesting question. Obviously, we don't know what the details are going to be. I've had the opportunity to meet with the president and to meet with Secretary Ross, and I can tell you I'm very encouraged by their determination to make sure that we have a sustainable and strong steel industry to provide a sustainable and strong national defense for our country, which is, as you know, the major role of government. Now, you do think that they will find there is a threat to national security on steel imports? I think it's pretty almost virtually impossible to argue that you can have a sustainable national defense without having a strong steel industry to support that national defense. Obviously, you need steel for fighting vehicles, armored plate, submarines. But in addition to that, you also need to have a strong infrastructure system in the country. You know, bridges, roadways, the electrical power grid, as an example, are all essential for national defense. On the 232, the big discussion right now is whether they might levy tariffs or tariff rate quotas. That's internally what we've reported at Bloomberg. Uh, what do you think will come of it? I, I, don't, I hesitate to guess, but okay. what I will share with you is what we, uh, we've been asked our opinion, and I will share with you what we've offered. And we've recommended that they start with the end in mind. At the end of the day, this is being done to provide a sustainable steel industry for a sustainable national defense. To accomplish that, you have to have a limit on the imports in terms of the market share that they capture. There has to be enough market share available for the domestic mills to operate at a utilization rate that's somewhere around 85 to 87 percent, which allows us to collect the return on capital that we need to have a sustainable injury. To accomplish that goal of 85 to 87 percent ca uh, capacity utilization, you need to have imports limited, limited to about 10 to 15 percent of the market share here in the United States. Whatever specifics they come up with, I've encouraged them to make sure and then to go back and verify that this, whatever they've come up with is in fact accomplishing that goal. The goal is to maintain a strong national defense. To do that, we need to have a sustainable steel industry.